think that was everyone and everything. Right. So before we talk to people, I'm just going to take things off everyone into the party supply. And then I can re-equip afterwards. Because what will happen is... Um, no, that's me. I'm definitely keeping me. I think... We also keep Lindsay. But I'm going to unequip everyone else. Okay. Oh, uh, you can have helmets. Okay, that's cool. I'm actually, I am going to unequip Lindsay as well. I think we're going to definitely keep her though. But I'm slightly terrified. Because we're going to lose some of our people. Won't let me take it. Won't me. Uh, won't me, let me take the ring. Okay. Right. Not even to pardon. We already won our first battle. Seems like a good omen, right? Okay, you see. So many deaths. The night stokes our rage. The grief and tears will come at dawn. Ezvanki Keeg. An unheard of atrocity. Mark my words. We'll find out who was behind this. Let's loot the giant as well. Great axe. And Aldori. Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought, there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. Oh no! You'll begin your expedition immediately. Okay. Lady Aldori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. You think I wouldn't recognize Hiroveti's seal? That's why he wasn't killed. The bandits recognized him as one of their own by this signet ring. Um, right, okay, so I can attack him, which would just kind of... Yeah, kind of makes it a bit obvious. What ring were you talking about? That's a bit of a lie. I have no connection to text. No, I think we'll pull it out and go, you mean the ring you gave me? Although that puts us in a position of its... He said, she said. But I think it's a bit unfair to go, you have the accent. Um, you mean the ring that you gave me? Yes. Such a gambit would be typical of Iravetti and his henchmen. And yet, it still seems suspicious. Oh, I kept it. Oh, okay, so if I... Oh, I could have dropped it. Oh, okay. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. Makes sense. They both came to your aid, Lady Jamandi. But a liar's cunning knows no bounds. I've never met these two or their companions. For all I know, they're all conspiring spies. I mean, I've not met any of my companions either. How could you say that? We fought together. We literally went through fire together. And then you vanished into thin air. After you promised you'd wait. And now everyone's accusing each other of being a spy. My words might be rash. Aww. I bet my life despise anyone but this man. I saw how he dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior. I'd go with him through hell and high water. This purple crook on the other hand. <laughs> He's got the eyes of a spy. And the mug of a spy. This is where he puts his coffee of a spy. <laughs> right. Lady Aldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed his true colors. He forced us to break into the armory and rob it. Okay, so... Okay, so... Sometimes your characters make difficult decisions relying on their conscience or lack thereof. Such decisions impact your character's alignment. In that case, I wish it didn't say which ones were lawful, which ones were chaotic. And it just went, you've picked the response. Um, no time to ask permission in diet. 
Yeah. Oh, oh it's okay. The difference is we're begging for we're not begging, but we're asking for forgiveness. Um. Because otherwise, it's like there was no time to run and ask permission. In my defense, we were in the middle of battle and die and need weapons. It's the same thing. It's whether you're asking for forgiveness, which we will do. Considering the circumstances, that was more than reasonable. I want to think. I, I, I know you couldn't really do that with this. Although you you could, because Pathfinder I don't think requires paladins to be lawful good. Or is that or is that like fourth edition? I know in in I know in D and D up to three and three point five you had to be lawful good to be paladin. You it would be really interesting just to be you start kind of not well not well no. It makes sense in Planescape Torment you start in neutral and develop your character's personality as you play, but in this it maybe it doesn't. I don't know. That was a sound decision. Sometimes one must act at one's own risk and peril until crossing the boundaries of what is allowed. Showing initiative is no crime. Uh, so, this is Valerie saying that she's going to join our party. Um, someone else is going to say they won't normally in response to those, so that's kind of why I stole everyone's stuff. Because that's the gamer in me. <laughs> and then we'll uh, dole things out. It is insane when faced with death to stop and question whether you may be breaking some law or rule. Even more insane would be to ask forgiveness for making the right decision. Sorry, but your words display a lack of wisdom. No, your words display a lack of wisdom, because I should still... You know, I've still basically stolen from her armory and the guards. I didn't take the money. I don't know if that somehow has, has a bigger effect or something. Or maybe um, Tartuccio points that out. Because I didn't actually... Well, I did steal. I did take some equipment. But yeah, still, it's begging for forgiveness. What about that trick he pulled right before we came in here? Oh, the saving people thing. He knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, he dallied as long as he could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. He was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already there. Uh, okay, so the, so the okay, the blue ones are the things that I've done. So you helped Valerie save people from the fire at Jaman the Eldori's residence. Well, people were dying right in front of me. How could I just walk by? I don't. Yeah, dead soldiers are useless. No. How could I walk by if they were dying? Really, Tartuccio? You're seriously trying to blame someone for saving people from a fire? Yeah. No one likes you, Tartuccio. May Shellen spare me from ever having to make such a choice, but he behaved decently as a true leader. Aww. A true leader is someone who has their priorities straight. Not someone who would put a valuable ally's life in danger for the sake of some servant. I would say I had my priorities straight. I don't know, maybe you can't have Lindsay and then Jaythol... Uh, and so if you're evil, you don't get Lindsay and you get Jaythol? I don't know. Enough squabbling. Stolen lands. still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the Stolen Lands. So that's where we're headed. So what's it say? The Stolen Lands are an almost totally unsettled region in the northeastern section of the River Kingdoms, bordering the nation of Bravoy, and serving as a buffer between Bravoy and the River Kingdoms. Traditionally, the haunt of bandits and monstrous humanoids. That sounds like it's going to be fun. The Stolen Lords, la Stolen Lands are regarded as stolen by all nations along their border, even though none have ever been able to keep their, these realms under their control for long. Lady Aldori, most of those who were to set off for the Stolen Lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go. And may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? Well, she's spoken in favour of me, so I'm assuming me. If my leader allows, I would join his team. He seems a worthy commander in my eyes. Commanders, military leaders, all these laws and rules are but dust and vanity. I suppose I will accompany Tortuccio. Harem considers the sentiments you revealed in a conversation with Jamandi and found in them a pointless insistence on the letter of the law. He found this foolish. Our leader is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. 
I prefer those who can act without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. Those like Tartuccio. <laughs> Too much pointless kindness. Okay, so I'm guessing she's evil. Ugh, Tartuccio's going to take the credit for himself and be done with it. Shellen, spare me from such allies. I'm going with you. You're a hero worthy of my quill. Okay, maybe just Lindsay goes with you then. As for me, I know neither of these two. At least, not well enough. And I have no wish to become an unwitting pawn to an unworthy leader. If Lady Jamandi allows, I'll remain in Restoff and help mend the wounds this attack has inflicted. But who knows? The road may bring me to the Stolen Lands, but not yet. Not yet. I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this man. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your rotten spy guts from the trees. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactus Crossing. The garrison commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. Okay, so we're heading to Oleg Leviton, Oleg's trading post. This abandoned border fort at the southern edge of Rossland formed in, found a new life recently. Oleg and Svetlana Leviton, a couple from Restov, rebuilt it into a trading post. This place is now one of the few hospitable shelters for travellers in the surrounding wilderness. Um... That's what we, what we need to... I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive me this precaution. Yes. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertova may also interfere in our plan. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be pointless. So we have a timer. That's always fun. Right, Patax, longer haven for thieves and smugglers. Patax is a hub for trade in the River Kingdoms. It aspires to be a center of culture and higher learning as well, but cannot escape its more unsavory origins. Sotova. House Sotova, the current ruling family of Bravoy, is also the oldest Brevik noble family and the most influential. The original holdings are the environs of Port Ice in northern Isia on the shores of the Lake of Mists and Veils. The Sotovas are known as careful and cunning diplomats. Before Coral the Conqueror invaded, the Sotovas were known as pirates and raiders, and the family still has many connections with the pirates and brigands of the region, many of whom are distant relations of the T Sotova clan. Their family motto is, ours is the right. And now, farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restall. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. That's the plan. All right, things are happening. Ah, right. I'll wait for the next bit for me to look at the journal. We'll see what. Surviving a terrible night, our small team set off to brave our fate. Beware, stolen lands. Heroes are on the way. Okay, so it looks like we're always going to get Amory and Lindsay. Okay. I wonder if I could have the other characters then. I don't know. Right. This Ah, things are happening. So many things popping up. This is the map of the Stone Lands and their vicinity. To set out, click on one of the arrows near your party token. Uh, you can learn the whereabouts of significant locations by talking to characters or happening upon them during your journey. After learning about a location, you must find the way there yourself. Along the way, random encounters await. You may be attacked by monsters or you may meet new acquaintances. After exiting the location of a random encounter, you will not be able to return there. Right. Right, we've done that one. So, Stolen Land. 
We're setting off on our first big adventure. Jamandi Aldori, a Restovic sword lord, is testing the contenders, weighing who shall be ruler of the Stolen Lands. There's only one way to prove that you're worthy of the title. Rid the area of the ravaging bandits and their leader, the, the cutthroat known only as the Stag Lord. Tremble, ye scoundrels, as we are coming. Uh, we can find shelter and get fresh information about the bandits at the trading post of a certain Oleg Leviton. Let's get there. And we have three months. Um, the gnome sorcer sorcerer Tartuccio, our leader's rival for the Baron's coronet, is wandering somewhere in the Stolen Lands. He's cunning, dangerous, and definitely preparing something nasty for us. One way or another, we must defeat him. Our daring Erdos and the insidious sorcerer Tartuccio received a special task from Jamandi Aldori. A chance to claim their own barony. But only one of them may prevail. We must seek Tartuccio out in the Stolen Lands and find out what our rival is busy with. Well, now I know who's on my team. Let's uh, work people out. All right. That is 3 to 17. That's a lot better than the Great Axe. So we won't do that. You've got hide armor. Can I give you something better than that? Um, no, that's hide armor. But I do have this. No, you had banded mail. Banded mail's better, isn't it? Can you have banded mail? No, you can't have banded mail. I, it won't let me move that around yet. Um, ba 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 ba. You want your tower shield back, and one to ten, so that's better. Right, so there's our tanky lady. I still can't move this around. Pay attention. Um, so I think we've kind of a light crossbow. That's also a light crossbow. Short bow's worse. So yeah, we still have a few. I can't take a heavy shield. But you can for some reason. So she's got a bit of arm, armor just in case she ends up there. I'll give, you your, I'll give you that back. And you had the potion of shield of faith. And I'll give you some health. Because you're going to be tanking a lot. Right, what's people's armor class? 17, 14, 23, 16. Oh, because I've not actually given you any armor again. All right. All right. So I've got the lowest, I think. So I'll take the bases of armor. And that upgrades my armor a bit. I mean, I could just go through this. But I think most of this is just going to be stuff I sell now. Oh, I can take this and that gives me extra armor class, doesn't it? So I can still use it. So I may as well. I wonder if that's going to have an impact on future stuff. I don't know. Right. So I think we're here. I think we've we've re-equipped ourselves. We're ready for the next go. Um, oh, can I show you location names? Restov. So there we go. So we'll be heading off over this way. Do I know anything around here? No. Farn hold. So this is all of the map. Are uh, the oh that's the whatever it is. Right, I think we'll put the cut in here, and next time we will progress from the prologue to the next area. Um, let's see if I can save it. I can save it here. Um, so that will be next time. We'll be progressing onwards and uh, to, well, maybe here and work out what happens from there as we visit Oleg Leverton and his outpost. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.